Okay guys, so the machine just finished carving that rough bit. I had the 1 16th in for that. Um, and then you can see here, we're gonna um, change it out to the 30 degree. So once the machine was finished cutting the with the 16th, it came back over to the home position where I had first originally zeroed um, that 16th inch bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and raise the Z. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna um, just change this bit out. To the 30. And when you're doing this, you just wanna be careful not to um, jar the machine too much. There's also a um, button to lock the motors. After that first bit is done carving, it will be on that page, I believe. Um, we modified our machine so the, the motors are locked when it's not running. Um, there's differencing in opinions on if you should do that or not. Anyways, now I'm just gonna jog the machine over. Gonna, um, every time you change your bit, you're going to want to redo the Z. That's the height um, axis. So you want to tell the machine how deep to cut. So I'm just going to do that here. And I'll just show you that process. So, okay. Confirming all of that, and I want to make sure I have the detail pass highlighted. Both bit sizes are correct. And then I'm going to probe. which I have done. And now it's saying use last XY or set XY. If I were to use the um, set the XY right here, it's going to act as if that new location is my new XY zero. So I don't want to click that. You want to use last XY. Okay, and after that, it's gonna just tell you to attach your boot and you're ready to go.